In today's video, I'm going to talk about sovereignty and the challenge to sovereignty due to access to natural resources. This is for the OCR A-level spec for power and borders, where you need to know um, a challenge to sovereignty around a conflict, uh, usually due to do with um, access to natural resources. So the area I'm going to look at, this is in northwest India. It's an area called Kashmir and um, it borders Pakistan. And since the partition uh, of India, um, when it left the British Empire, there has been conflict in this region. And there has been, uh, it's an area that is contested territory where the borders are being kind of argued over. And this is, as I said before, since the partition, there's been lots of conflicts due to religious, ethnic and cultural differences. So we have um, Hindus, Sikhs and um, uh, Muslims living in this area, which are uh, arguing over different issues and agreements. But it's also the area I want to focus on is the fact that this is an area where they are also um, arguing over water and access to water. So here's a, a, an image of the region and uh, it's an area that has a lot of troops actually stationed in it because of this conflict there's actually been Indo-Pakistani wars and they've got particularly a lot of troops in the Karakorma range where they are they're protecting a really vital water source um, some of the glaciers up there actually feed some of the major rivers the river Indus and the tributaries that go alongside it so what the, the one of the biggest issues in terms of the relationship between Pakistan and India in terms of water is the fact um, that the water that often comes to Pakistan actually runs through India first. So it goes through this Kashmir region and then ends up in Pakistan. And they decided that they were going to try and do something about this. So they signed a treaty mediated by the World Bank in 1960 and agreed how they would use the water in this region. And it was relatively successful. So uh, Pakistan decided that any of the, the tributaries that are on the west, and they split it into west and east, they, uh, they would have unrestricted use on those uh, tributaries. Equally, India would have unrestricted use over waters in the eastern tributaries. So they were sharing out um, the water, which meant that both countries, for, for many years, were often relatively happy with this deal but the the, the only issue is it, it, just because they had unrestricted um, use doesn't mean the other country couldn't actually so India could use uh, water from those western tributaries but it just meant Pakistan actually had control over them the major problem of this is because the water goes through India first Pakistan have complained that India have actually built dams upstream and therefore this reduces the flow downstream so India in recent years, since 2015-16, has actually fast-tracked a lot of hydro projects in the Kashmir region, which means that Pakistan feel like they're getting less water. And it's a, such a significant issue um, in a water-deprived area that they feel that there is going to be um, water wars potentially over this. The, the other ongoing issue uh, for this is the fact that in both of these countries, population... Uh, is still continuing to rise and because of that as population rises there is more demand for water so it's not just a problem now it could be a problem going on into the future therefore if um, the population grows and there's more demand on water and Pakistan feel it's getting less that means they feel it's a challenge uh, to their sovereignty the, the other thing that I would say is it's also a significant issue because we know climate change is becoming more of a problem, global warming caused by humans. And so as those temperatures rise, we're going to see the glaciers that actually provide a lot of these waters. Uh, they are going to shrink and therefore there is going to be less water supplied to these rivers. So this could be a continued area of conflict over natural resources, which mean the sovereignty and territorial integrity of both countries are um, often being challenged.